Hey guys, what's up? It's Cry and I TCG here again, and I just wanted to talk about um, what I think about the current meta decks and how I think the ban list is gonna go a little bit further than what I previously did. Uh, previously, I kind of spoke about the ban list in my opinion, what's gonna happen, but I want to go through what's happening with the meta and go from there because I think that's kind of important to talk about more so. Let's go ahead and just jump into it and um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and stuff because I'm gonna hopefully upload a new video every other day. Um, so, let's see how it goes. So, I want to go ahead and talk about what just happened um, with Istanbul. So, the first place deck was another World Chalice deck. Um, you know, I think World Chalice is a great deck. The problem is that it is lacking support still. Uh, due to such... It's good, but there's a lot of ways to counter it, essentially. Uh, as you can see here, it did hit first place, so it's doing something right. Uh, I don't think anything from World Chalice needs to get hit, honestly, nothing at all. I think it is a very more than fair deck, just because um, it's hard to fully execute what you need with this deck. You're paying a lot of life point costs, you're going to be paying a lot of um, a lot of risk with Solemns, uh, if your enemy has them, uh, Kaijus, everything. Uh, the only benefit that this person had is that they were uh, main decking Kaijus, but a lot of them do, because they want to get the effect of the Kaiju out for Gamma Seal. So, I don't think anything should happen to World Chalice. Pendulum Magicians, we all need, we all know Electromite needs to get hit slightly, Astrograph needs to get hit slightly, and I think those two are the biggest issues if you're not running the FTK deck. Um, Maybe uh, Dark Worm needs to get hit, that would be pretty good actually, probably to one. Uh, having it more than one is very broken in my opinion just because the effect is just too strong. Um, but honestly besides those two, I wouldn't really think of any other way to really hit Pendulums. Uh, we got Kaiju Cyber Dragons, well then, uh, nothing to get hit there, that's, uh, that's an off meta thing. Magical Musketeers, no reason to hit them, they're not in a good place. True Draco, we all kind of kind of spoke about this last time. I think Masterpiece should still get limited to uh, semi-limited to 2 or 1. Um, I think 2 would be a better number. Hit Diagram to 1 or even 2. It is a strong card. Everyone thinks that it is Masterpiece that is the problem. It's actually Diagram because I've never seen a True Draco player win with just Masterpiece. It's always Diagram being the backup. That additional damage, people take that for granted way too often. That additional little bit of damage always helps out Masterpiece. The ability to not get destroyed by battle, it, it's just too strong of a card. Just overall, it is too strong of a card to have in a true Draco deck. It helps out other decks way too much. It helps out, uh, what you call it, dinosaurs a lot if you're playing with dinosaurs or weather painters. If you're playing with the weather painter hybrid with uh, a couple painters, true Draco, just gets out Masterpiece a lot faster. It's just too strong of a deck, and I think it is all because of Diagram. I think if it gets hit to 1, if Terraforming does not get hit, people can use Pseudo Space to use Diagram's effect, but it, it's it's something that needs to have something done to it. Uh, Paleo Frogs, eh, nothing to worry about. Trick Stars, they're not topping anything. Um, here, I see 16th place, I see... Um, fifth place, I see top 32, I see top 8, Trick top 4, Trick Stars top 8. I don't recall the last time I remember seeing Trick Stars topping anything at all. I'm actually kind of curious, hold on, let's find out. I do not remember the last time Trick Stars topped first place. Oh wow, here's one in February 2018. Um, second place. Here is one in January 2018. And then here is one in November 27th. It's very sporadic. And then here's one right afterwards um, in 27th. It's very sporadic of a win. Um, they are consistently in top 32, that is without a doubt. Um, usually at least one player is looking at this, you know, see April, April, March, March, you know, a couple of them. Okay, actually, this is a lot. But overall, I don't know if Trickstars really need to get hit. Keep this in mind, I am a Trickstar player. I'm not gonna go ahead and lie about that. I am a Trickstar player. But from my experiences in the current meta, it doesn't make sense hitting them. If they're not topping, why is there a reason to hit them? If something does get hit, I think Reincarnation should go to two. Only because at one, 
until we get the new support out, it would not be viable for Trickstars to even be competitive at that point. Um, even though Reincarnation is not the selling point of the deck, it helps a lot with a lot of Link plays, which is important. Especially if Scapegoat gets hit, then you, you're taking a big powerhouse away from Trickstars. Um, I'm sure people will, will come up with alternatives, but still. Um, Candina, I think, should stay because she gets in Ghost Ogre way too much. But I mean, if you have a Lycris, you can negate it, essentially. Um, overall, I think that if anything gets hit, Light State should go to 2. Um, Reincarnation should go to 2. And I think that's about... I, I can't see anything else in that deck really getting banned. I mean, I'm not thinking Draw Unlock, I'm not thinking, you know, Scapegoats, because I'm not considering that part of the deck theme. Think about it as the, the entire package. Draw Lock might get hit to 2. Um, if you can pull off the Reincarnation Draw Lock combo, it is very strong, but it's very hard to get, especially now with everyone running Ash Blossom. If you have an Ash Blossom, you basically negate that whole scenario. Um, well, more or less. If you have 3 Reincarnations on Draw Lock, well, you kind of fucking win anyways. <laughs> it's like, here, let me Reincarnation you 3 times and Draw Lock and then, you know, have no hand, good luck. I hope you draw nothing good next turn. But... That's my opinion for Trickstars, I don't think they're in a good place, not really worth hitting, and especially there was like, it, this might be the one where the guy was running like a really weird trap deck? This wasn't the one. This is a more standard, uh, standard Trickstar build, but one guy was like running a pure trap Trickstar deck, which was interesting. Um, Demise, True Draco, again with the True Draco, again, Demise is a very strong card as well, it needs to get hit to at least one or two. Um, the ability to use it in main phase 2 is too strong. Um, I think if anything, if you want to keep it at 3, there needs to be a clause that it can only be used on main phase 1. Because having it at main phase 2 is just too free. Uh, especially for, you know, True Draco with their whole abilities. Uh, Gem Knight FTK, don't see it too often, so nothing to worry about here. Mech Knight Invoked. Now, I've been talking about this with my friends. Sorry guys, mustache, itchy, itchy, itchy face. Uh, I was talking about Meg Knights with my friends for a while, and I I just don't know if they really need to get hit at all, right? I I think Mechaba should be at one. I'm not even gonna go out the front about it. I think Mechaba should be at one. I think it's a very strong card to have, um, and you don't usually want to have two on the field, and you don't usually want to go through two of them. So I think one would be optimal for this build specifically. Um, Invocation should get to two. I know a lot of people started playing only at 2, but I think at 3 is too strong. Um, just the recycling of it. And Alistar, I think he's fine at 3, realistically. If Invocation gets hit to 2, you have Alistar at 3, you still have the engine going, so you don't need to worry about, you know, working as often. But, mm, or maybe Alistar at 2, and then Invocation at 3. Ratios can be applied, but I think Megabush should be at 1. Um, that's my personal opinion, just because it's a strong deck if it can pop off, but if it's not topping, it doesn't need to get hit. It's just my opinion on what if, if it should. Uh, ABCs, I don't think they need to get hit at all, honestly. I mean, it's a strong deck, um, but it's not topping. So there's no point of hitting it, that's the thing. Uh, Trickstar again, Demise Draco, 60 card Dinosaur Flying Engine. Everyone is screaming for uh, Snow Rabbit to get hit, and I don't think it needs to be. If we're only seeing one 60 card deck every couple of regionals, why bother, right? Like, here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. Uh, this is all in the same tournament, I think. Here is Dublin, uh, Ireland, Salt Lake. You're, you're seeing it in three different locations. It's not prep, well, here's another one, uh, Scotland. Okay, four, and Dublin again. So we're seeing it in four different locations, one location has two different players. It's not prevalent enough, right? Top eight, um, top eight, top eight, uh, top eight, and third place. Wow, breaking the meta. It's, it's not hurting anyone to keep it. I think that if you're not going to be playing Snow Rabbit in a 40 card deck, which you shouldn't be, I guess there is some leeway if you're going to use it as a Book of Moon and then, you know, like, Spellbook Acknowledge it, but then you, eh, kind of useless at that point. But, eh, I have no opinions of it. I, I don't think it should be in, um, I, don't, I, I don't think 60 card decks should get hit. 
until they become more prevalent in the meta, until they get more top 8s, it makes no sense for hitting Snow Rabbit at all. And this is coming from somebody who hates Snow Rabbit, you know? The amount of clutch times where I'm just like, alright, time to kill you, and then Snow Rabbit, alright, time to kill Snow Rabbit, then time to kill you, Snow Rabbit. It's like, stop the Snow Rabbits. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind, that's just my opinion. Uh, everything else here is pretty much not that relevant. Uh, relevant? Frog, not really relevant. Another Mech Knight, uh, Trickstar, Electromite, Turbo. Again, nothing to get really hit there, sub besides Electromite 2. sub terror Dino Field, Spell, the fuck is this? I did want to make a sub terror deck. The, the, the fuck, is this with dinosaurs? Ultimate Conductor Tower. Wow. Spiral Super 8. This is a mix of like five different engines. All right, fuck it, why not? 42 cards, all right, well. It got second place, definitely should hit it now. It's it's not it's it's something that's interesting. It's something that people probably weren't expecting. I'm happy to see sub, sub terror back in the meta very very slightly. Uh, I did want to go ahead and make one, but not for now. Uh, Cosmo is not nothing to get hit there. Ojama ABC again. ABC is good. Uh, Mermel Frogs, Pendulum, Trickstar, Trickago, Kaiju, Chalice. Nothing to again. That's about it. I think our meta right now is Pendulum Magicians, Trickstar is kind of True Draco. Well, True Draco is probably. Um, and then ABCs. Those would be my top four for the current meta. And out of those four, I think only two of them should get hit. Uh, should get hit, and that would be Pendulums and True Draco. Um, Trick Stars again are not abrupting the scene. There's no reason to hit them if they're not causing an issue. Yes, it's an it's an annoying thing to play against Reincarnation. It's not as annoying as not being able to play the game with True Draco, or to get destroyed, a you know, and FDK'd with. Uh, pendulum. So you, you, well, I guess technically you can OTK your opponent with Trick Stars. On um, me, and you know, if you're if you're turn one, turn two, but you gotta get two, you know two, three Lycarises out, have reincarnations in your hand, gotta hope for every god in the world to like help you out here. It it overall, I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Just leave it at that. So thank you for guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this little video, something breaking meta, it's just me going over the top decks, uh, again this is all through yugiotopdecks.com slash decklist, I'll have it in the description if you guys want to check it out, it shows you like top decks that are currently placing, which again, spir uh, this one is a, well I guess we could do like last three months, what, spirals are still doing, spirals, don't even need to get hit, just feel like I should mention that, magician, get hit, tricks are not really needed, true draco, needs to get hit, zombie, don't really need to hit it, abc dragon, don't really need to hit it, invoke Wind Witch, don't see it, True King Dino, eh, it's fine, I don't like Conductor, but it's fine, World Chalice doesn't need to get hit, Burning Abyss doesn't need to get hit, Kaiju, okay, Gem Knight, Paleozoic, Mag Knight, Shadal, where did Shadals go? Shadal Dinos, I think it disappeared, Light Swarm, Ma Magical, man, I want to see Dark Magician in, in this top 5th 20, somebody make it happen, please, please, for me, just make it happen for me, make the Dark Magician player happy. That's it guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys hopefully within two days. Take care. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, what should get hit and what shouldn't get hit, and what's your main deck. Alright, bye.